Hey guys, welcome back to Sensei's Journey. Today, I just kind of wanted to talk to you about something that's been on my mind. Uh, if you ever have a time in your life where you feel like you don't know what to do with your life, like you're drifting along and, and you're just kind of going through the motions and you don't see any direction in your life, that can be a really trying time. Um, before we get too much into the video though, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed uh, so that you can get all of our real anime training content and all the sensei's journeys and all the other stuff that we do because we do a lot of stuff on this channel. Um, but yeah, so I was having some conversations with some of my students um, and, and where they were having some difficulty um, figuring out where, what they wanted to do with their lives and, and you know, even what they wanted to like they didn't have any idea what they wanted, period. And I've been down that road. I have lived that life of being, you know, driven by uh, obligation uh, and being driven by what I thought I was supposed to be doing. Um, and that may not be everybody's situation. You may be not be driven by obligation. You may not be driven by doing what you think you're supposed to do. You may just be really depressed. Or you may be, um, you know, going through a lot of stuff with trauma from in your home life. And so you can't really think about your future or what you want because you're just surviving day to day. So it may seem completely impossible for you to even like figure out what that feels like or what that might look like. Because I know for myself, there was a time in my life that if you asked me, what do you want? I could not tell you what that was. I couldn't even tell you what I wanted to eat. I did not have an understanding of what I wanted in my own life. And that is horrendous. That's terrible that you don't know what you want out of your own life. And that, that does not say that there's anything wrong with you or that you're bad for that. It's just, it's your life. You should enjoy your life. You should have things that you want out of your own life, things that you're striving for. And if you have that, there's something missing. And you can tell yourself that it's okay, and you can tell yourself that you're just, you know, doing what you gotta do, and you're going to work, and you're, and you're you know, eating food, and, and doing all the stuff that makes sure that you stay alive, which is important, please continue to do that. But without, some sort of guiding force, which internally, uh, to direct your life, sometimes you can get a bit dreary. So I encourage you to take some time every day and sit down and ask yourself, what do I want? And you don't have to, you don't have to like mull over it for hours or anything. You don't have to, to stress about it or anything. Just ask yourself the question, what do I want? What do I want out of life? What do I want in the next 10 years? What do I want in the next five years? What do I want in the next month? What do I want my life to look like? And you may not have an answer and that's perfectly fine. You're not gonna have an answer right off the bat. But if you ask yourself enough times, if you present it to your brain as a problem to be solved, eventually it's going to start working on that problem and it's going to give you an answer. Because your brain is built in such a way in your subconscious that if you present it information or a problem, that it's kind of working on it in the background. It's not up in your conscious mind so you don't under, you don't like experience that process. But I'm sure that all of you have said, what was that thing, that one guy in that one movie? And you think about it for a second, you're like, I don't know. And then two hours, you're not even talking about what you were talking about before. You don't, you, you've forgotten that you'd even asked that question. Your brain goes, oh yeah, that was Jim Carrey. Like magic. And that's not to say that it's a, it's literally magic. It's just a product of what our brain does on its own. It's a problem solver. That's how we survive as a species. We solve problems. And if we can't solve problems here, we put it in the back burner and the back burner kind of takes care of itself, but it takes a little longer. And so you ask yourself that question, let it go. Maybe you ask yourself the question and you free write in a journal. 
Maybe you ask yourself that question and then you meditate. Maybe you ask yourself that question and you take a nap. As a matter of fact, I want to say that Benjamin Franklin uh, was very... Uh, or Was it Benjamin Franklin? You know what? I'm going to have Duffy look this up. It was either Benjamin Franklin or Thomas Edison, one of those guys. And I know that they're not remotely the same, but that's because this is not necessarily related uh, to what they did in their lives. So they would, if they were, they had a problem that they were working on, they would ask themselves that question. They would, they would say, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I want to work on it. And then they would go take a nap. And then coming back from that nap, you would have the answer to the question. And so I started learning this process when I was in college. Now, mind you, um, it was sort of steeped in this weird new age book that I found that was, it doesn't even matter. Um, but I started asking myself, what do I want? And at first nothing really happened, but then it started giving me answers. And I was really surprised at what the answers were when it gave it to me and because I wasn't really conscious of what those things were. So as I practiced, I got better and I started understanding this is what I want. That doesn't this, now that didn't give me the ability to go after what I wanted. That didn't give me the ability to shrug off what I thought I was supposed to do for what I actually wanted, because that's a different skill set. The first step is figuring out what you want. And what you want sometimes hides because any number of reasons. You may not have the capacity to do it because you're dealing with some sort of high stress situation and trauma, you may be really depressed, and so the thought of enjoyment doesn't even seem, you know, reasonable to you. Uh, or you may just be a robot, like I was, uh, because I literally shut off all of my emotions and didn't know how to access them. It was weird. And that's a story for another time, but the, lo the road out of it was long, but damn it, it, it was worth it because I gained the ability to figure out what I wanted and then I learned the skills over time to actually pursue those things and then not only pursue those things, but feel good about pursuing them because that's something else entirely because I, when I, I figured out, well, this is what I want and then I would go after it, I'd feel bad or I'd feel guilty for doing something that was for me or that wasn't necessarily benefiting somebody else. And after, you know, that was, a, that's a hard thing to shake. Uh, and so, like I said, it comes in stages. So you need to make sure that in this process, you give yourself some grace be patient and understand that it's going to be a long process, but that it's super worth it because at the end of the road, you have a better understanding of what you want. You have a, you feel good about going after what you want. And it's not always the case that you're going to get what you want, but you have a much better chance of getting what you want. If you know what you want and you go after it anyway, just sort of a, uh, a short rant that I wanted to, you know, because I, speaking to one of my students, I wanted to um, impart that because that, that was kind of on my mind today. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions that you'd like to, you know, me to, me to talk about or anything like that, or topics, leave them in the comments. Uh, I'd be happy to address, you know, any number of things. Thank you very much. And until next time, guys, good luck. Entry.